Crafters and crafters and welcome to our Friday online class where we are going to be creating some super fun and easy Halloween projects uh, using the cauldron bubble stamp set and the coordinating cauldron dies that are in the new Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. They are so adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, this card actually designed by my friend Veronica Zalas for my blog and it is a card. It is adorable. It's the cat on the fence in the moon, the alley cat. And um, it, it was so wildly popular when I put it up on my blog um, earlier this week. Everybody was asking about it, and I thought, oh, let's do a class on it. And in addition, I also made some cute, fun, and easy little, these are um, sour cream style uh, treat containers, like a sour cream container, you know. Um, anyways, they're really quick and easy to make. You put your little goodies in here, and we made them to match with the Toil and Trouble designer paper. So they go with the Alley Cat, super cute set. Can't wait to show it all to you. Um, this actually uses the Toil and Trouble um, suite what we're going to be using today. So this is uh, part of the new holiday catalog. This suite is all of these products are, um, and we're actually going to use quite a bit of it. This, this glittery ribbon we're going to use, we're going to use the dies here. We're going to use the stamp set and we're going to use this toil and trouble designer paper, as well as these spider trinkets because they are so cute. I, I couldn't wait to play with them. So before we get, um, before we jump into that, let's talk about uh, what we have to give away today. Since it's an online class, I always have some fun giveaways for you guys. Um, so I have two cauldron bubble bundles, the whole, the die and the stamp set that we're going to be using today to give away. One live, one for the replay. Um, the replay drawing I'll give away on October 5th. Those are for those of you who were not able to make it live or who uh, didn't win one of the lives. So when you're live, you get double the chances of winning. And um, I have two Feathery Friend Hostess stamp sets. Um, one of these I'm going to give away for the early bird special. So the early bird special. The early bird giveaway is at the 10 minute mark. If you get on here early and leave a comment, you have a chance to win uh, early on. So good luck to everybody there. Uh, be sure to leave a comment. That is how you enter to win all of my prize patrol. I'll do uh, one Feathery Friends and the Cauldron Bundle um, at the end of this online class. And I'll do those drawings live, and then this one will be after live. I do have a winner's uh, prize claim form linked in this video. You can check out all the winners of my most recent giveaways and to see if you are one. Um, you have two weeks to redeem your your prize, or I give it away again. And um, also, that is where I will announce the winners here in case you have to bounce early and don't get to see it. Uh, a bonus with the replay drawing um, that is in addition to... Um, being able to enter that if you are not live, um, if you're watching this later, if you, want, you could even be watching this up until October 5th, when you leave a comment, you're entered to win this uh, Cauldron Bubble Bundle. Uh, in addition to that, if you share this video, now I'm broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube, and also uh, YouTube is shared into Pinterest as well. So if you share any of those videos onto your social media, onto Facebook or onto Pinterest, and type the word shared into the original comments on Facebook or YouTube so I can see it. Shared, S-A-G-E-R-D, because that's the one I search on when I draw the winners. Um, you'll be entered a second time into this drawing. So that gives you a little added bonus. And another way of sharing the love. I love to share it with you guys. I love it when you share it back. It's We're we're team. <laughs> we're team. We have a lot of fun together. I love doing these online classes for you guys. And I love just being, you know, being together because, you know, a lot of you, if you stamp by yourself, it, it's stamping is a, such a great therapeutic um, craft and it, it's, it's awesome for many, many values. Um, but it's always more fun when you do it with friends, whether you're doing it online or doing it in person. It's always fun when you have a group of friends here. And also, uh, since we're live, you guys can shout out questions here and I'll be happy to help. All right, Janet says her birthday's on Halloween. Oh, that's fun. My grandfather's birthday was on Halloween, too. Okay, so uh, this is a section of the video where I like to just keep you up to date with what's happening in the crafting world and with me. I have a very special event that is going to be starting on Sunday. So you guys are going to hear about this first. Actually, second. My, my VIP club heard about it first, but you're going to hear about it second because they got a little special bonus with it because they're in my VIP online club. And if you want to hear more about that, I'll talk about it in a second because I'm giving away a free grab bag. But first, this is available to everybody starting on Sunday if you place an order in my online store. This is celebrating my 15 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 
also my birthday month. So I'm giving back <laughs> again. Um, and so if you place a $50 order, you're going to get free chicken wire elements, which are brand new in the holiday catalog and super fun. And if you place a $100 order, you will get the chicken wire elements and you will get the free brand new take your pick tool, which you can never have too many of those. Um, these gifts are only available if you use the hostess code, unless your order is over $150, then don't use it and you'll still get them automatically. Um, and if, if your order is placed in my online store between September 16th and September 30th. So I am giving you this heads up a little bit early because if you're ready to place an order, you might want to wait until Sunday so you can get this added bonus because you do need to use the new hostess code that's coming out on Sunday with it. All right. So in addition to that, if your order is over $250 or if you have combined orders with friends to make order, uh, an order over $250 or you're the hostess in my stamp stamp club this month um, you get a free package of oh what fun dashing along designer series paper this is a special Stampin' Up! is doing this month just for hosts um, or people that get Stampin' Rewards with orders over $250 it's really cool paper um, and so all of this comes from the holiday catalog and the holiday catalog was released on the 5th of this month. So um, that was really fun and exciting. Um, the, the products we're using today are from it. The giveaway, uh, well, the, the cauldron giveaway is from it. And um, there's so many fantastic things. In fact, uh, last week, Linda and I had uh, a video where we shared over 80 different ideas of new products coming out in that catalog. If you missed that video, you can catch it on my stampwithtammy.com blog. Click on the link in this video's description. When you click Holiday Catalog Gallery, these will all come up. Um, the video that we did will come up. We also have images on my blog. So many ideas. This is what I'm here for. I'm here to inspire you and give you ideas and help you with your craft because there's nothing worse than, than getting a stamp set or a product and going, oh, what do I do with it now? You want these ideas because they keep you rolling. They keep you having fun. And um, if you're like me, I definitely need to help keep getting inspired. Some people I know just have very crafty brains and I love to watch their process and I love to watch them work. But sometimes my brain just doesn't work quite like that. I need the ideas first. And then I, you can usually jump off of them and, and create something from that idea or the original concept at least. And um, I mentioned my VIP club getting a little secret bonus on um, the special that I'm running on Sunday. To the, till the end of the month. If you're interested in joining my VIP club, it is the next best thing to joining as a demonstrator. And if you have a lot of things that you want to get, especially with that holiday catalog coming out, it's a great time to join my VIP club because you get free stamps, free catalogs, free bonuses like they're getting this month. And in addition, if you join this month, you will also get a free grab bag from me. So that's another little bonus. Details on that are on my blog. Just click on the link in this video's description. All right. So with that, uh, let's pop down to the table. We're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing today. And don't forget, the 10-minute mark um, is where I'm going to draw the first early bird, which is a Feathery Friends stamp set. And then I have a second one and the Cauldron bum cauldron Bubble Bundle. That's fun to save as uh, to give away at the end. All right. So here's what we're making. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. The, the, it's such a... It's a quick and easy card and super fun. I'm going to show you how to use the um, multi-purpose adhesive sheets to connect these stars to your card that make it really easy with no panty lines, as I call it, with adhesive showing. And then we're going to make these coordinating little treats. So if you're having a Halloween party or just making treats for the kids at school or your grandkids or whatever, these are quick and super quick and easy little pouches. They're, they're so fun to make. You could make 25 of them very, very quickly. And I use the new glitter ribbon and look at, wait for it, the spider trinkets. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're all part of that bundle. All right. So if you are new to my online classes or maybe you're not new, but just forgot about this feature, I have a free PDF for you. I always do this with every online class for you to follow. You can either follow along or use this later. But the benefits of the free PDF are um, it has a link back to the resource page that is it contains the video that we're making right now. And also, in addition to that, um, it's got all the measurements for everything that we're making today. It's got the, the photo on there and on the back here. It's got a complete supply list of everything that I'm using today. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to worry about what color did you use? What was this? What was the mentions on it? It's all here on the free PDF. Click on the link in the video's description and it's all right there for you. And Carol Grove says, ew, on the spiders. All right. So Carol definitely doesn't want the spiders on her packages. <laughs> But I just think they are the stinking cutest things, especially for a Halloween party, right? All right, so we are going to be using two stamp sets today. 
This is the Cauldron Bubble stamp set, uh, which is brand new in the holiday catalog. And then we also have the um, the hardwood stamp set, which is in uh, the big catalog. So this one's a background stamp set. It's actually a really, it's one stamp. It's a big stamp. So that's just going to provide a little bit of background for our fence when we, when we make it. And then we're also going to be using, and this can be bundled with the Cauldron Bubble, Cauldron Bubble stamp set to create a bundle. But I cannot seem to spit the words out on that one. See how they match the dies, this little girl die matches, the, the image, the cauldron matches, the hat, and then this cool spider web is just awesome. We're going to be using these little stars to make our background. And we're also going to be using the cat. So the, there is a cat image that you can cut out, but today we're just going to do the silhouette. So these go together. If you purchase them together, you get a 10% discount too. All of that is available in my online store. All right, so... Before we uh, get started with the fun, we have hit the 10 minute mark, which means it's time to draw our first winner. So let's do a quick pop over um, to our giveaway. Again, this is what, while I'm going there, this is the Toil and Trouble bundle that we're using today, our, our suite that we're using today, a suite of products that we're using a lot of these in here. All right, so first thing we wanna do is find the correct, the correct post to make sure I'm drawing the winner from the right place. <laughs> It's always important, right? <laughs> and here we go. All right, so our first winner of the early bird special, and this is for the Feathery Friends Hostess stamp set, is Kathy Brown. Congratulations, Kathy. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form that is linked in this video's description. All right, so we're going to pop right back down and let's get started with the stamping. Woo! All right, so first thing I'm going to do is make the card, and then we'll do the quick treats after. These are, are cute little, they're just, um, they, the style of this treat pouch is called the sour cream container style. And um, it, it can be filled with just about anything. And you can actually um, make it just about any size too. They're, I'll show you how, they're just so easy to do. And again, a great one when you're making like class treats or party treats because you can make so many at once. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here, I think I'm trying to decide if we should do our stamping first or do our um, die cutting first. Let's do the die cut first. Um, no, 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 we're gonna actually, um, I, I might mix it up a little bit this time. Normally I like to do it kind of all in a little bit of an order, but this time um, I think I'm gonna stamp and then we're gonna die cut and then I'll stamp the words on the, I'm not actually gonna do all the stamping at once like I would normally do just because of the, the card. So I've got smoky slate ink and the hardwood stamp. I'm gonna show you a little trick on stamping your background stamps. So we're going to ink this up. Now I don't want the full on color because it, it's a little bit too dark. We want it to be very subtle on the background. And I have two um, pieces of the Smoky Slate cardstock here. Those measurements again are on the free PDF. This is just grid paper here and I'm using it as scrap paper. I'm going to lay it over the top and just rub it to get some of that ink off so that we have a lighter shade. And then I'm going to put our first piece of Smoky Slate down and I'm going to put this over again and rub it. The reason why I'm putting the paper over the top right now is so that my fingers don't get inky. And that gives us our smoky slate, subtle background. I'm going to do that same process again with the second piece. We need both pieces. So first we're going to ink that up and then, and then just take off some of the cover color. And the reason why I'm doing it upside down and pressing as opposed to turning the stamp and stamping it is because it's such a large stamp. This is the tip. It's such a large stamp that sometimes when you when you turn it over and stamp it you don't get a really full image you might miss a little spot here or there because it's so big and when you do it upside down and rub over it like this you get a really good even image so that is my tip on background stamps all right and uh, Pat says so she's losing the video you can either go out and come back in or you could try your internet connection um, all right, so next up, I am going to take and I'm just going to show you what I have here on the instructions to help you out here. So under the measurements, it says here, there's two pieces of smoky slate cardstock. And then it says cut the cut the one that is this this one right here that's got the asterisk, the two and three quarter strip down to three five eighths strips. So we're going to use the, the stamp and trimmer for that. Stamp and trimmer behind me. 
And that is the smaller of the two. The other one's three inches and one is two and three quarters. So that's the smallest. And we're going to cut this into five eighths inches. So I'm going to use the paper cutter here in the cutting blade. So four, in four eighths is a half an inch. So just an eighth of an inch larger than that. I'm going to go one, two, I wanted to, I think I want I wanted to do that on the other one so I want this to be a little bit smaller so let's cut that one up too okay all right we're gonna go ahead and assemble this piece while we're working on it now. all right so these pieces are gonna create our, our slats and our fence instead of doing them vertically we're doing them horizontally So they just kind of line up in the middle like that. And then in order to give them a little bit of pop, we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals to attach them. All right. Hello, Veronica Zalas. Do you love your card? Veronica, Veronica designed this card. I always love it when she can pop in and watch. It's always so fun. And I hope you're staying safe from that hurricane. All of you that are down in that little war zone where that, that hurricane is hitting, I hope you're all staying safe. That is a little bit scary. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a tad north, so I'm not quite sure. I guess they're going to wait and see how that affects up here, but it has been terrifying watching that hurricane on TV and how, how it's coming at you guys down there in the, the Carolinas. Lots of prayers being said. Okay. All right. Amy says she's stamping along with us because she loves this bundle so much. I love that. I love it when, 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 <laughs> when you're inspired and stamp along. All right, so we've got a few little dimensionals on here for the last piece. Now, you might have noticed I just did the top and the bottom, and then I'm going to do the center last. The reason why I did that is because I found that's the easiest way to line it up, to make it even. All right. And here we go. All right, so Lil, Lily, or Lil, it's Lil over on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube says that she was upset. She set the reminder, and it, and it messed up. Can I just tell you, Lil, I'm not sure I understand YouTube. I started out on Periscope and then we went to Facebook. And Facebook is really good when you say, remind me of this channel's live videos. It actually has a button for that. I can't seem to find that on YouTube. And I cannot seem to find how YouTube notifies you when you're live. And it, it's really, I, I, I just, I, if somebody understands that, can you please send it to me? <laughs> because I don't get it. And it doesn't even notify me when my own channel goes live. And sometimes I tell it to, and it still doesn't. So I do, I mean, I, I'm going to keep chugging along. And I keep thinking one of these days I'm going to figure it out. And, and when I do, I will share it with you. <laughs> but in the meantime, I, I can share that Facebook is a heck of a lot easier and, and does tell you those things. But in the meantime, we will figure it out someday. Someday I will. And when I do, I'll share it. All right. So that is our fence. That's how quick and easy the fence goes together. So now let's go ahead and do our die cuts and then we'll stamp the last piece that needs to be stamped. So I'm just going to put that aside for a minute and pull out the big shot. And the big shot die cut machine is just such a staple. All right. Nidia is asking, what state are you in? I am in Massachusetts which is on the east coast of the United States. We're quite a bit north of where that hurricane is hitting. Um, but that doesn't mean, like, they do come up here. It doesn't mean it won't. It, it, they're, I just don't know that they have a complete trajectory on what's going to happen yet with it. All right, so next up we need our die set. So we're going to be cutting a few pieces. Actually, yeah. Let's go piece. So we're going to start with... Um, the moon and the cat, and then we'll come back and do the star second. All right, so we've got a little bit of black here for the black cat that, hey, where'd he go? There he is. That cat just jumped right out of here. He jumped right in my little bin. Silly kitty. All right, so we've got that. And then for the, the moon shape, I'm using the Stitch Shapes dies. Second largest circle. These are another staple. All right. That is really smart, Bobby says. We're just talking about how YouTube doesn't seem to um, 
notify when um when when you go live it doesn't it doesn't always notify i guess or at least maybe i haven't figured out how to do it and robbie just said she sets her notifications on facebook so she gets it from facebook because facebook always is really good about that right and then as soon as facebook notifies her that i'm live she switches over to youtube <laughs> that's actually really funny all right so we've got the stitch shape circle we've got our cat die and we've got one cutting pad on top Uh-oh, I, I did not see that. I mean, it says the path of the hurricane was uh, molded to switch north this morning. So uh, you're in Virginia. Veronica's in Virginia as well. Um, all right, well, lots of prayers for you too. So I hope, I hope that that, gosh, I just hope it doesn't do as much damage as I kept saying it was going to. Lots of prayers for everybody. Well, one thing, it's good once you get all hunkered down, it's a good time to set up some flashlights, some candles, and just stamp therapy. It's a good time for it. It's a good time for it. Okay, so um, next up, I'm going to cut the stars. Oops, I did not mean to kind of get rid of that one quite so quickly. We're going to cut the stars that go um, with the cauldron framelits. This is the die right here. These are teeny little stars. Oh, that kitty jumped out again. Did you see him? Oh my gosh, he's a naughty kitty. Wow. All right, we'll put them right back in that little adhesive. No more naughty kitty on you. All right, so this is the die that we're going to use. And because they're tiny little stars there, that you could use the um, the fine tip glue pen would work here. Um, I, I am going to actually use some multi-purpose adhesive strips on this. And I'll show you what these look like. These are, these are in my online store. Um, for something like this, they, they come in a big pack like this. They're quite nice. Um... Yes, I understand that YouTube people have to be, um, oh, I'm sorry, Wanda, I was trying to click to see more what you were saying there. You said YouTube people have to be subscribed, and somehow I clicked on an emoji. Sorry for that. Anyways, um, I understand you have to be subscribed, and I can't see the rest of what you're saying there, but I subscribe to my own channels, and I also subscribe to be notified, and I'm not. So <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong there, but... And I get that from a lot of people. They are used to YouTube more than Facebook and they want to watch it on, on YouTube, but YouTube doesn't notify people. I don't understand what's going wrong there, but maybe somebody can shed light. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a small piece off. We want to cut three of these. So it's kind of what's going to happen here is this is going to make it like a sticker. It's going to make the, uh, the cardstock like a sticker. So you're going to peel off the, the top protective backing and then you want to attach it to attach it to the um, we're using some scrap paper here so that's probably see i want three there we can probably fit three right in that tiny little piece of scrap right there and that's probably all the adhesive that we need to use but we could cut off another piece if you want it to all right And I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut them all three at once. It looks like a couple of these are sticking on there, so I'm just gonna move them off. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and leave them attached for now until we're ready to stick them on the card. Okay. The Seymour does, the Seymour button on, and for those of you on YouTube, we're talking about the Facebook. Sometimes if there's a lot of text in the, in the comment, it doesn't show you all of it. it. It just has a little button to click to see more. And that does not always work when you're live, especially when you're on a mobile device. But after live, I can go back and read it. So maybe there was a tip there. <laughs> all right. So I've got three of these cut out three of those little star dies cut out. Um, and it's all right if a couple of them popped out, that, that's not a problem, but I'm gonna leave the rest of them in there until we're ready to use them. And we are ready to move on to our next segment of the card. And that is assembly. So we've already started with our fence. So we've already put our, our little, um, 
easy little fence together. That's the easiest fence you're ever going to build, right? Just going to take some snail adhesive to attach that to the bottom of our card base. Again, those measurements are on the free PDF. Uh, all right. Huh, Dagmar says she gets notified on YouTube all the time, but not always on Facebook. Dagmar, can you email me and tell me what you're doing? <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not having that same success. And a lot of people on here aren't, and it's really frustrating because they want to be able to watch on YouTube and they don't get notified. All right, so um, this is the circle that we have cut out for our moon from the stitch shapes. Okay, and I, since I already attached this, I'm just going to kind of peel it back up again. And the star is part of, the star die is part of that bundle. Yes, that question was from Robbie. All right. Okay. And then the cat, I'm actually attaching with a mini uh, dimensionals. And although we do sell these in my online store, we get them a lot with paper pumpkin kits. And so I have some left over from some previous paper pumpkin kits. So it's a good time to use those. Let me some paper pumpkin. All right. And that's going to go. I kind of set him up so that he's hanging over. He's, he looks like he's sitting on the fence. There's not a gap between him and the fence. And the last step here is stamping the trick or treat on our moon. And that's going to go right to the side. So he's all set. Now the last piece of this card is attaching our stars. Oh, my stars. And yes, this is part of the um, cauldron die set that is part of this bundle. Now, all you got to do is take this little backing, peel it off, and these stars are sticky. So we are just going to go ahead and stick it. I'm just going to do a couple of them on this one so you get, you get the, the hint. Sometimes, though, when you leave them on here, if you peel the whole backing off, sometimes you can get it to come off the star without... Um, without the star peeling out, so you can just stick them without individually peeling them, if that made sense. It happens sometimes. And there we go. You can die cut from, from foam media for dimension, absolutely. It's not something I was using on this card, though. This card, especially not these tiny little stars wouldn't do well with that because they're tiny. You need a little bit, like the cat would do well if you wanted to cut him out of foam. But you know what the cat would really look awesome with, which I wish I had thought to do it before this moment, is the new black foil. Have you guys seen the new black foil that's in the holiday catalog? It's so amazing. So fun. And it, and it especially with the bats, we used it with the VIP club this month with Bat Punch. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've seen so many cool things done with it. But the cat, I bet, would look really good in black foil if you want to jazz them up a little bit. Oh, thank you, Ellen. She said, great card. All right. So I am just going to finish putting these guys on later because you get the gist of it, right? That's how they go on. We just do your whole card there and they just peel and stick. Super easy. You don't see any adhesive. Very, very fun. All right. So next up on our agenda is we're going to make these super cute. Um, sour cream uh, containers for your treats, for your party treats, for the kids at school, for the grandkids. So anyways, if you are, um, if you are, you know, looking for something to make that's really quick and easy that you can make a lot of for a large amount of people, this is an awesome, awesome idea. There are sour cream treat containers is what the, the what the actual, um, pouch is called. They're super easy to make. Now I am using Toil and Trouble designer series paper. Again, this comes from the, um, the suite. This comes from the whole suite, the cauldron bubble suite that we just, that we're using here. This is double sided designer paper, super fun. And any of these patterns would look great in the, um, and I've got a couple of packages in here. So if I have, there's two of each sheet, but I might actually have more than that because I've already used an, almost an entire package of this paper because I love it so much. So I've cut out these two patterns. Now they're double sided. So again, you're like, oh, which side am I going to use? That's the hardest choice right there, right? And here's how quick and easy these go together, right? So you're going to cut a square and they can be any size. These happen to be six by six squares. 
So six by six is going to make this size, but you could cut a four by four or two by two. You could do these in any size. So it just depends on what you're putting in it, what you're using it for. There's just, it, it, they're so quick and easy to do. And it really, it's so, there's so little, um, so little <laughs> assembly. All you have to do is make that cut. And this is tear tape adhesive. Okay. So I'm going to put two pieces down one for a side and one for a bottom and it doesn't really matter with this pattern which edge that which edge is which and with the tear tape it has an, a, a protective backing on the back so we're just going to go ahead and peel that off that's weird for some reason my um the computer that's showing me comments on youtube keeps going to sleep so i apologize <laughs> it keeps losing those comments i have to keep waking it up wake up you silly computer all right all right, so some people have said on YouTube, talking about YouTube no notifications, you need to make sure you choose the bell with the icon around the top to get your reminder. I did that. One can find it next to subscribe. I will try it again. She says you might have to press it twice. That's from Cynthia Ann. You might have to press it twice. I will try that again. Okay, so I've got adhesive on two sides here. The first side we're just going to roll into like a toilet paper tube and attach. And make sure you use the strong adhesive. If you have fast fuse, you can use that too. But it, you need something stronger than snail because it's a 3D. Okay. Now, I just pressed together where the other adhesive was. Now, I didn't put adhesive on both sides because we want to put candy in here. And every time we put candy in something, if I put adhesive on both sides, someone always goes, well, what happens when you eat the candy? Do you have to ruin it? So well, <laughs> I made sure that I made this so you don't have to ruin it to eat the candy. You get to keep the pouch. Okay. So here's the trick. We squeezed one way for one side and squeezed this way for the top and boom, your pouch is made. That's how simple they are, right? So quick and easy. And then what I did for the top is I just punched boom, boom, and put some, um, some ribbon in there. But before we do that, let me show you another trick. So back in the day, we used to have this device called a, a paper crimper. Probably some of you guys maybe even still have one. Um, I no longer have mine, but we, uh, many years ago, we used to sell it and, and it really completed the, um, the sour cream container at the bottom and the top. It gave it that little crimping. So in this catalog, we came out with this corrugated dynamic impressions folder and it does the same thing. It crimps the paper. It makes it corrugated. Same, same idea, right? So let me show you really quick and easy how to crimp without a crimper with this corrugated folder. All right. Yes, Wendy says she still has her crimping tool and she uses it. So for those of you who no longer have a crimping tool or didn't come along in time to get one because they've been gone for a few years. Okay, so this new corrugated folder, which is good for many other things, just put the tail end of the sour cream container in there. First one, I'm, I'm gonna do this on both ends, but the first one I'm doing is the one that we already um, attach together. Make sure the cutting pad only goes up to this line because you don't want to you don't want to flatten your your project and you do kind of need to do it after you've put it together. All right. Oh, sorry. One more tip. This is a dynamic folder. Dynamic folders are thicker than regular folders, which means they don't need two cutting pads. They only need one. They're like 3D. All right. So we're going to put that right on. Oops. And we don't need a thin die adapter because it's not a die. So here's here's how it goes. One big shot platform, one dynamic folder corrugated, and one cutting pad. Project hanging off the end because we don't want to flatten our sour cream container. I did not score the ends. Mary Lou, uh, you could if you wanted to add extra work to it, but I don't think you need to. That's totally up to you because, boom, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> there it is, the crimped ends without the crimper. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing with the top. Gloria, yes, you could do this with an empty toilet paper roll, but it's nowhere near as cute <laughs> as the designer paper. All right, here we go. And, and the same thing. Now, make sure you don't run it all the way through because you don't want to flatten your, your sour cream container. Now, that was the side that was not attached with adhesive. So we can pop that open, put our candy in or treat or whatever you plan on putting in there. And then when it's done, you're going to take your hole punch. Now, 
all I have is the 16th of an inch hole punch, which I think is maybe a tad too small. If you have a bigger one, like an eighth of an inch, might be a little bit easier to use, but this still works. Okay, so I'm punching two little holes in there. We're taking our glitter ribbon. This is new in the holiday catalog as well. Let's zoom in a little bit more here so you guys can see a little bit clearer. They're just so easy. These sour cream containers are so quick and easy to make. And sometimes, especially at Halloween time, when you're making treats, you're making them for a lot of people. You're making them for a class, your grandkids, you're making them for a large amount, so or for a party. So it's you definitely want something that's easy enough to duplicate. And that this definitely fell within that category. Okay, so we've got our ribbon in there. And then when I tied it, this is where the little spidey came in. I love these little spideys. These are new spider trinkets. Also in the and they're in my online store. Okay. And it's so cute, right? So cute. And they've got a little let me show it to you. They've got this little loop on there. See the little loop on the top? And that's where you thread the ribbon through. Yes, exactly, Carrie's like a person could whip these out so quickly. That is my, <laughs> that was my end game. My end game was if you're making something for a lot of people for a Halloween party or for your kid's school class, you want you want to be able to do them quick and easy okay so we've got spidey little spidey man on our little sour cream container and the finishing touch and i did pre-cut these is the um same way we cut these with the um the same um stitch shaped die circle with the crushed curry and then the cat so i pre-cut that from the cauldron um the coordinating cauldron die set so some mini uh dimensionals attach the cat And we've got a cat on one side, a little trick or treat, or whatever you happy birthday, whatever it happens to be, the occasion on the other. Now, I did not tie this on, I wanted it to kind of stay on there, so I stuck it on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I just kind of put it up underneath the ribbon. So it gave the illusion that it was tied on. See, it looks like it's tied on, but it's really attached. Boom. And then they can untie, eat, and they still have their cute little treat. And you can do that in any. Do you guys want to see that one more time? I'll do a quick one in case you're, you're popping on late. One more time. All right. This is the, the sour cream container. This is how quick and easy it is. We've got, now again, one thing you definitely want to use when you're doing this, when you're doing this type of treat box is a strong adhesive like fast fuse or I've got a sticky strip here. I'm sorry, tear tape. The reason why I like tear tape better than sticky strip is the, the adhesive, we used to sell the sticky strip, the adhesive backing doesn't stick to you like the little red pieces did and you can tear it with your finger. All right. So I'm just putting it on two sides, putting that adhesive on two sides the bottom and one side. It does not matter. As long as you've got a square here, it doesn't matter the size, but these are happen to be six by six. So roll it up like a toilet paper tube on one side and then the, the other side with the adhesive pinch. Now you could put adhesive on the other side, put your candy in and then put adhesive on this side and pinch. And boom, you have got your sour cream container, super easy, any design. And then I just ran the ends through the corrugated folder to give it that finished off look. And that's how we created these cute sour cream containers. How quick was that, right? You could definitely make look at that, you could definitely make 30 of those in a very quick period of time. And our super cute card here, you could use for invitations if you're having a party, fall birthday party, Halloween party, or just, you know, for your favorite cat lady. <laughs> Little alley cat there on the fence in the moonlight. Absolutely love it. So quick and easy Halloween treats. A really fun alley cat in the moonlight card to go with them and that is my online class today don't forget you can download the free tutorial on my stampatami.com blog simply click on the link in this video's description uh, don't forget big special happening on my blog on Sunday you're gonna want to pop over there and be a part of that and this means it is time for me to draw winners so I've got for live 
two more live prizes. If you've left a comment, you are automatically entered. If you are not live, if you're watching this later, you have until October 5th to leave a comment on Facebook or YouTube to be entered into the drawing. And if you share this video onto a social media even later and type the word shared, you will be entered a second time into the after live drawing, which will happen on October 5th. All right, so two drawings right now. The first one's for the Feathery Friends stamp set, and that one goes to... Sonia Burson, and the last live prize that we have today is for the Cauldron Bubble Bundle, and that winner is Christina Schultz McCarthy. So congratulations to all of our winners. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form that is linked in this video's description, and um, I will be back on Tuesday with Linda. We have a stamp and scoop on Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I hope everybody stays safe that's down in the, in the path of this hurricane. If there's any changes and it does come up this way and I have to reschedule, I will keep you posted um, on my blog and on Facebook as much as I possibly can of, of changes to the video schedule for next week. And in the meantime, uh, happy stamping and have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me today.